<laughs> I didn't say my intro. I didn't say my intro. Hello to you beautiful black and white motherfuckers out there. Hello and welcome down my rabbit hole page. Okay? Listeners discretion is advised. Um, these videos are not pertaining to the masses of asses. That's most of you, 80% of you. You know who you are when you get sensitive. If you smiled when you saw all that shit, then you are part of, you part of my universe. I don't know. You you don't take things seriously, and you're not a stick in the mud. Okay? But of course, I can change in my intro, but I usually say my intro. I talk very quickly because I've been saying it over a period of time. But um, this video is going to be pertaining to a repeat video over and over and over again. I get countless people in my inboxes talking to me about getting married. I, I don't think they watch the rest of my remaining of my videos. They don't understand the pimp side of things. They don't understand the real alpha type shit. They don't understand that. People are still confused about what an alpha is. Okay, these days, but it's okay. I'll just go around it over and over until I get it over it. Till y'all get it over and over in your head. I get thousands of people watching me, but you may see one view or two. That doesn't actually mean it's one view or two. Remember that. Keep a mental note of that. All right. You know how YouTube algorithms are. I don't really care about the views. That's why I turn them off because it's a, it's a bias. It's bias. It's bias. Okay. So this video is going to be pertaining to never get married unless you do what I do and know how to take advantage of the matriarch. Duh. There's successful guys who, who get alimony and child support. Sure. You never get married. You net there's so many reasons why a male should not get married. And there's so many more reasons why a woman should get married. Even in the Far East, I've talked to countless fucking Bangladeshi because I teach them English in a dynamic sense because they like my personality, which is more than most of you guys. Not trying to be arrogant, though. It's just a fact, okay? So I teach the Bangladesh, and they teach me something, too, as well. Ah. They teach me that over there, they have something called a dowry. And the women are getting married for short periods of time. And, and it's even in some cases kill all of the children when they are not satisfied with the incomes that they're receiving over there. This is in Bangladesh. Mother, I'm international. Read my description. So as silly as I am and kooky as I am, I'm more loved in other countries rather than America. Of course, duh, obviously, okay, because of the stereotypes and all the other bullshit. People who are this spiritually entwined, like myself, are not usually accepted in America. But um, I respect all religion. It's just that when you're a critical thinker, you're not religious to me. Okay? You know, you, you actually did some research, yada, yada, yada. But marriage is the downfall of men. But men are going to bounce back. Because as I said before, there's no hell's fury than a man scorn. We already know about medieval times when women were being lynched for being a witch. Okay, a witch bitch, okay, you know. Men do some heinous fucking things, more than women. Men cleave, Vikings cleave men, other men in half, okay? That anger is going to be displayed like the god of war in a woman's pussy, okay? Kratos, boy! So, I'm not, I'm not going to be talking about statistics too much, okay? I'm just, I ain't going to be talking about facts too much. Just, 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 just think about common sense, okay? You know, if you punch a hole in the wall, who's going to punch a bigger hole in that wall? And he's stronger, too. But women use low-level tactics to get what they want. So what's going to happen is that if a man can't release his anger with his fist or his sword, what is going to happen? He's going to try to use his raison d'etre to tell other men of the same stories. This must spread. And what's going to happen is that we got individuals like Donald Trump saying, grab him by the pussy, okay, which is factually true, okay, you grab him by the pussy, okay. No hate intended. Okay, you grab them a certain way. There's some females who like to be grabbed more rough than this being grabbed. But if you're like one, do you eat? Okay, if you're like that, then you may need to get a strap on and you could do a much better job because everybody's not born equally, babies. Everybody's not born equally. You make your own porn like I do, then you know I'm not equally like everybody else. Okay. So. The moral one I'm saying here, there is no benefit for marriage for men. But it's way too many benefits for marriage for a woman. An alpha man like myself who took advantage of marriage, which I did not believe in in the first place. I listened to my raison d'etre and also my Holy Spirit. And 
I didn't want to go do it and go all married. I didn't really want to do that, but I had to do those things because of my Holy Ghost. It told me to do those things. I listened to my voice, my schizo voice, which protects me because it's been protecting me ever since I was seven years old. I got my schizo when I was seven, when I was about to chop my stepdad's head off for doing all that abuse to me. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I would have been in a darker place, the voice told me. If you chop his juggler in the dark right now, even though you can see a little bit of it, he snores real loud, you will be in a darker place. You'll be the special, you know, the white sheep of the family. <laughs> but it wasn't his fault. It wasn't really my stepdad's fault that he was going through all the misery. So that's why I wish I had the power of the Ghost Rider. I, I, yeah, I know I lost you, right? So, as I said before, when the voice started talking to me, it proved to me about things that is real. So, next thing you know, now I have to do shit now. I just say, oh, try it, then motherfucker, try it now. I'm not responsible when I told you something was going to happen. If it did, you get cancer, I'm not responsible. If your family member died, I'm not responsible. I tell people this in advance. Do not fuck with me. I'm telling you, my Holy Spirit, raison d'etre, will get you. And if you thinking that you can say something gibble 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 behind my back, taking my pictures, I have to do my own method of attack, okay? So I don't be fucking with everybody. That's why I try to stay. People get good luck when they hang around me, but it's kind of hard when you are a liar and you are a thief. But I allow you to try to lie. But there is no advantage for a man who is, you know, doing the thing he's supposed to do and he gets married. A real alpha believes in polygyny and virginity, correct? So I'm like, you know, you work in, you see a female you want to bring in the house. The logic is off to me because that's why I traveled. I lost my virginity when I was 31. So don't don't put me in the same bracket with those beta alphas. Don't put me in the same bra bracket. The closest I came to a beta alpha is when I was like getting paid, okay? And that was like simping for money, okay? I used to get paid th a thousand a month, motherfuckers. And next thing you know, I'll be going up in their houses with their kids and shit like that. Fuck that shit. That's money. $20. I used to get, I get $20 a day for about five to six, seven hours. You got to go to work and I'm gone. You pay me that portion of that money. You are okay. Well, I'm not babysitting. I can't be your therapist. I can't, I can't be your gynecologist. Because I learned from the real McCoy. I do not, I do not make shit up here. Now. So since guys are learning this slowly, there's a lot more white than Milano's out there or cracker individuals who still got some shit in their head thinking that is a wise idea. Marriage is never important unless you have a plan. You cannot be married to a female and she's enticing you or forcing you. Put You know, the Beyonce shit, put a ring on it. That's the Jezebel spirit. She's shaking her shit and she wasn't even a virgin when she was fucking with Jay-Z. Jay-Z only fucking with her. I'm like, damn, he has a right to have many women. What the fuck kind of selfish is women? Women's nature is not selfish. Women's nature is not supposed to be selfish. Do you know that? Do you want to be in a monogamous relationship? Are you? I, I, I tell women all the time. I said, how about polygyny? We can get this shit cracking quickly. They don't want to hear. Okay, oh, they was trained wrong. Right? They didn't have an alpha daddy. Okay, I, just, I keep saying this over and over again. I teach my daughter. She, if you and your daughter stay together, you'll be more happier. You'll have more family. That man ain't going to cheat. You ain't going to worry about none of that shit. And if he does, I'll chop off his dick for you. Okay? This is not, not a problem. I'm like, what, what type of man would cheat on his two wives okay, or three wives? I don't know of such a man, and I don't think it will ever exist. But, of course, you have to make an agreement before these things happen because murder, death, and kill, you can get away with that shit in another country. But in this country, in America, you're going to have to use voodoo or some sort of magic. Because your ass will get caught after a period of years, if, especially if they have a huge family, okay? I don't fuck with women with huge families.